Hi there everyone. Well I had this coin sculpture I did about 35 years ago. My brother is a coin sculptor and uh, coin maker. He commissioned me to do this sculpture and I had a lot of fun doing it but I never got to see it as a coin. This is the best I ever saw right here. A lead stamping that was just to test it out. Now here he took one of the plasters I left with him in December and repaired it by his traditional method by hand and recasting plaster casts and that. Here it is being cut on his uh, equipment. Uh, he had a, of course he cast, cast a uh, an epoxy negative from that plaster positive that I had. And now he's cutting a negative into a metal blank, a steel blank, to produce a die. This is a long process. I think he said it took about, uh, oh, it was over 24 hours, about 27 hours, I think. He sent me these during the process. Then after he cuts it, he has to, there you go, there's the finished, there's the finished version. And then he has to anneal it, harden it. So I decided I would scan it with the mini. He's, he's cutting that coin, he's going to have it pressed, and I'll finally get to see it in a, in a metal coin. But in the meantime, I'm scanning the plaster that I have, which is pretty much damaged from uh, poor storage, out in the weather, that kind of thing. You could see by the photo that I showed at the beginning of the video, it's, it's in pretty bad shape. And it also has this text on it, which was frankly in the way of doing a good scan because it kept mistracking on the text as I would come back around and see it again. So I had several attempts but I finally got it to track well by starting in a different point on the sculpture. So my plan is to repair it in software and reproduce the plaster, the master plaster in software then uh, print it on my resin printer to test proof of concept. And then I can send the file to my nephew who has a resin printer and he can print it and give it to his dad, my brother, who can then process it in his traditional manner with uh, cast, making plaster casts and refining the plaster until he has a satisfactory model. Then doing the epoxy at the end and the whole business as usual. So hopefully I can come up with a way to improve his workflow and uh, he'll have a way to make edits to his existing plaster of, of which he has many thousands. He's done thousands and thousands of coins. He has a lot of coins he said he hasn't even published because he just does them because he likes to see them in metal. But uh, once I get this finished, well, of course, I'll be able to see the coin here in a short time because he, he'll, he'll have the, the die finished in just a little, little bit and uh, be able to press coins from it. Uh, I might see a finished coin in a day or two. But uh, I'm kind of excited about this prospect. And I used the mini because it uh, is so detailed to scan. I didn't want to miss any of the detail in this sculpture. And then maybe we can do one collaboratively uh, with the POP2 and maybe even with the POP1 to see what we go, uh, you know, regress in uh, accuracy and see what we can get, see if we get, still get acceptable results. But hopefully this will work out. This is only part one of the whole adventure here. This is the scan I ended up with. Of course, now I have to uh, process it and uh, synthesize that, that original plaster, you know, uh, get rid of all those chinks and dinks and little weather damage in there. There's a lot of water damage. It was out in the rain a few times. Uh, but it looks pretty good. I think it might work out well. But anyway, I'll post another video when I have another step finished. And until next time, thanks for watching. Good scans, everyone.